I'm gonna film every single thing I eat and drink today. Honey crisp apple. Have this. And it's still nice. So we have a very late start to the day. It's 12 o'clock. I usually eat breakfast around 10, but I really needed to get a video edited and sent in for a brand. So eating came second, which usually never happens. Let's go eat breakfast. I think I'm just gonna have a big honey crisp apple with peanut butter for breakfast because I'm eating so late. I know I'm gonna wanna have lunch soon, but if I'm still hungry after this, I'll come back down and I'll eat more. It's all about listening to your body. Skippy peanut butter. I know it's not the healthiest, but it's the best and there's no denying it. These apples are the absolute best. I think I'm just gonna have this little snack. They're three seed sweet potato crackers from Trader Joe's. They're so good, guys, like so good. And you don't have to like sweet potatoes to like these. Amazing. So I don't know about you guys, but I go through phases of eating things. So I've been eating oatmeal every single morning without fail for like three months now and I'm over it. I'm over it, but it's so annoying that I'm over it because it's so good for you. So normally for breakfast, I would have oatmeal, but lately I've just been winging it. What I do really want to make is baked oats for the morning. I saw this recipe for like banana baked oats that looked so good. So I think later me and you, we're gonna bake a little bit. I'm gonna make a salad. It's just this herb mix from Trader Joe's. It's so good. And my salads need to be chopped. So I have a salad chopper. I just feel like it makes it so much easier to eat everything together. When it, my salads aren't chopped, I feel like I'm eating the lettuce just to make it go down so that I could get to the vegetables and stuff. So when the lettuce is chopped, you're just able to scoop everything up all together on your fork. Okay, now I'm taking cucumber. I don't like the skin. I mean, like I'll eat it if it's there, but if I'm making my own salad, I like to cut it off. This is a really easy salad to make, not that many ingredients. I do have salads that like go crazy and there's like a million different things I put in it. And then I just cut it into four and then cut it up some more. I like everything to be pretty small and thin. Cause like I said, I like to get everything scooped up all together. Then red onion, cause it's just simply not a salad. There's not onion in it. If I get a salad out at a restaurant and there's no red onion, I always add it. It just has to be done. And then I cut my tomatoes into fours. My eyes, I'm crying. Actually, I think I'm slicing it down the middle and then cutting it two times because I want them even smaller. Now I'm gonna cut this avocado in half. I'm just gonna do slices like this and then cut that in half and then pop it right in, I'll show you. Oh my God, we have no salt left. Like I could literally murder myself. But normally I would salt it really nice because the salad needs that. Then I'm gonna take balsamic vinegar and put about a teaspoon in there. Actually, we're gonna do two. Then a teaspoon of olive oil. Here's what it's looking like, but I'm about to mix it all up. Okay, taste test, trying to get the perfect scoop. Need salt. Maybe I'll put a little bit more vinegar just to, that was a lot, just to give it some more flavor. And you know what? I think I'm gonna put some dried cranberries in there. Such a good touch to a salad. If you like a sweet and salty moment, really good. I understand that it's not easy to make a salad every single day for lunch. Um, and that's also not realistic, like you're gonna eat other things. But this is just what I've been doing recently when I have salad ingredients. There's so many other options for lunch. Like sometimes I'll have toast with avocado and hot sauce, or I'll have like a little pre-made wrap from Trader Joe's. But like, I'm here to tell you that I understand, especially for some of you who are younger, who don't go food shopping for themselves. It's not always easy to have fresh produce to make for lunch. I definitely want to do uh, what I eat in a week soon so that I can give you guys a bunch of different ideas and like easy go-to meals that you'll always have in your fridge. 
little story time with the crunchy cookie butter. I lived off of this, not literally. Growing up, I would eat jars and jars and jars of this because I was just so obsessed. And then I realized, you yeah, know, that's not good for you. Literally just by the spoonful, but I caved in at Trader Joe's last week and I got a jar of it and I, I can't, I can't control myself. I've been eating it every day. This is something that I'm having after my salad for a little sweet taste. This was literally my identity. Like if you thought of cookie butter, you thought of me and it still hits the same, but it's gotta be the Trader Joe's brand. I'm gonna make a rolled oat banana bread recipe that I can eat for breakfast every day and have like a meal prepped breakfast. Starting off by preheating the oven to 350, taking a blender and adding two cups of rolled oats, four large bananas, two eggs, six tablespoons of maple syrup. You can also use honey or agave nectar, whatever you prefer. One tablespoon of baking soda. I also added a little bit of milk for I don't know what reason, and I blended that all together in the blender. Then I sprayed the pan with oil. I added the mixture to the pan. You're supposed to add one cup of chocolate chips, but I just did it by hand. And then set your timer for 30 minutes to bake. All right, I'm about to make cauliflower crust pizza. It's my first time using the cauliflower crust. I'm excited about it. It says preheat oven to 450, bake for 10 to 12 minutes, turn over and then bake for another 10 to 12 minutes, broil for an additional four to five minutes or until browned, and then top it and then bake it again. So I didn't know I was getting myself into some big serious thing here. All righty, it's all done. Look at how gorgeous. Oh my God, it looks so good and it smells so good. I'm very excited. I'm gonna try it after my pizza that I just put in the oven. This pizza is gonna take me a while. So I understand now why you have to cook it 300 times and flip it over because it's like a floppy mess. You gotta make it crispy and then put the stuff on, then you're able to finish it off. So first it's frozen, then when it's thawed, it gets floppy. No, no thawing. But I'm saying like once, it, once it warms up, it gets floppy. Yep. I just used the Trader Joe's pizza sauce. I put some garlic powder and this Trader Joe's mozzarella and my battery's about to die. I'm gonna put this in for like five minutes. Okay, taste test. It's great. You can taste a little hint of cauliflower, but I don't mind that. It's nice and crispy. I usually eat this, but with like regular crust. I'm not mad at it at all. It's definitely good. Guys, I put butter on this, but it's so good. Oh my God, so good. And not bad for you besides for the butter and the chocolate chips. And yes, I eat in my room. I like it this way. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I post YouTube videos every week, but if you want more of me, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. My username is at brookmooney underscore. My sister, my dad, and I also have a podcast called It's a Mooney Thing. If you guys watched up until this point, comment this emoji in the comments down below and here is today's subscriber shout out i love you so much and i'm so thankful for you make sure to like and subscribe it's a free way to help me out all right peace out guys love you